Hello, in this video I will show you how to use date picker in WPF. Quite a useful thing to know and if you want to learn more about these WPF elements take a look at either my new book on WPF or my course about WPF. So let's take a look at the date picker and here it is. In this example right here we have our date picker. If you click on that this is all quite generic. We have quite a few features going on on this, right? First of all, we have the display date, okay? Display date, which is right here, okay? It's right here, 12th of December. And then we have 23rd of December highlighted in a way. Now, the reason it's highlighted is because the date is today, okay? Today, so that will be set. I'll show you how that's set and uh, you will see soon how uh, the initial date is set. Okay, and then we have these uh, X mark dates. So these are invalid dates uh, and I'll show you how that's done as well. But first of all, we have a little breakpoint in the one of the events and I will select one of the dates, say 18, like that. Okay, and we break on the breakpoint. Now, usually I would show you the XAML first, but in this case, we will start from the event. Okay, and the event is selected date change. Okay, selected date change. This is the event that you want to use to sort of retrieve your new value and assign it somewhere. So this is the new date and as you can see the new date it's a simple date it's not a date time you can't pick a time but you can pick a date so uh, this is our date and you get proper date time you get proper date time it's not some kind of a string or something like that it's a proper date time but getting to it is a little bit tricky okay first of all you need to get your sender, object sender, retrieve it as a date picker type. But then you also need to do this because selected date, selected date won't become date time right away. You need to cast that as well. But once you do that, you have your new date. So that's kind of a easy thing to do. Just remember what to do. And you can find these source codes uh, uh, that you see in my tutorials on Patreon. Also, you can find some great deals on my courses on Patreon. So, with that, we have DT Picker, which is our date picker, and we have Display Date Property, right? Once that is assigned, that will be the initial display date that you saw. And now we can get to the XAML. Okay, let's get to the XAML right here. We have our date picker which is quite a large arrangement. We have something inside there, and as you can see, we have our name. But when I shown you the date picker, you saw today, okay? The date that is today. And this is why we have is today highlighted. Is today highlighted true? That means it will show today. If you don't need that, you set it to false or you don't set it at all and it will not show it to you. That's quite simple. And then we have selected date changed event. This is the event that you want to use for that. And other than that, we just have some styling details, at least initially, right? Inside it, inside it is kind of an interesting thing. We have date picker black out dates. Okay, black out date. So those were the X marked dates that I mentioned. Okay, and then you have calendar date range. Okay, you have calendar date range. So you can have several of them. And you have end and start. Okay, from which date it starts and to which date it ends. Now, this can be quite annoying to do if you're doing it in XAML editor like that. But there is an easier way. You can actually select the date picker. You can select the date picker and then you can go to properties right here on the Visual Studio bottom right usually unless you moved it somewhere else. Okay, and then we have common and then as you can see we have blackout dates. So you select this you go to sort of create this collection and if you want to have another you just simply click add 
and it will add a range and another range here. And if you want to delete the range, you can do that. And obviously, if you go into these, you can write down your uh, new date range that you want to black out or X mark it or whichever words you like to use. So, so this is how you use date picker in WPF, quite a simple arrangement. And again, you can find the source code on Patreon. You can also find some great deals on Patreon if you support this channel and subscribe to this channel and do take a look at my WPF course and my latest book.